Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Cone Dodger here. Welcome back to the Procedural Rally League. This week, after our very good introduction to the Assetto Corsa Procedural Rally League, we're stepping up to a much more difficult location in uh, gravel conditions in a car that basically has slicks. Um, we're also going to be having stages that... Uh, from what I've heard, of course, not seen them be done, or I've not, uh, I've not driven them. What I've heard is they're very deceptive stages. Uh, so expect a lot of time in the woods today. That'll be fun. Well, let me go ahead and load up what I assume is going to be the setup I will always use with this car, because it's the only one that actually makes it rotate ever. And uh, let's get right to it. Oh, and it's. It's an ominous, foggy condition today. So ominous. All right. Nice little bit of lead up to this one. And we will line ourselves up. We got 41 minutes. I believe it's about a five minute stage. According to Moose, uh, we'll be doing about these 20 minute events for uh, the duration of the, the season here. And that sounds pretty good to me. Let's see if I can keep this thing uh, out of the trees. Uh, a lot of advancements this week. Apparently, the co-driver app has been reworked. There's some graphical advancements. Uh, this is obviously a different location, and uh, you know, overall, just uh, uh, an ever-changing, ever-evolving thing. This is, especially for these first couple weeks. So we'll see if we notice anything different. But really, my only goal is to stay in between the trees as much as I can. All right. Three, two, one, go! Left one. Eight. Let's see what right kind of grip we have. Decent. Four. It's not, right uh... Two. Not very much right like two. it was last week, that's Left for sure. One. Right three. Let's see here, it's a nice bit of camber in that turn. Oh yeah, but the front... Definitely. Oh no. Oh no, I meant to cut like that. <laughs> Front definitely uh, not very responsive. Right due to five. The low grip right conditions. Five. Right two. The force feedback Direction just feels left. very numb. Right two. Left five. Left four. And it still loads up a bit. Oh, the handbrake's still dramatically ineffective in this car. I did manage to get it to turn a, or slide out a bit right there. Right four, left four. I kind of lost in the calls right for a minute four. there. I was like, there's turns here, but I've not gotten calls. You notice the arrow to the left. The intent of that is actually to uh, help five. you get back right on course. Four. Right five. Should you get lost. Left three. And I think I'm gonna right need it. Two. There's gear there somewhere. Left four, left five, There's right. Third. Left two. I still find the gearing in this car to be a complete mystery. Or maybe not the gearing so much as the power curve. Right six. Left four. It just seems to not have a curve. Maybe it's just a flat line all the way across the board or something. And I get distracted by seeing it. Left Show six. me a red indicator on the shifting. Left Trust it. Four. Left three. Hairpin right. Okay. Oh, gear, please. Right one. I haven't made it to the hairpin yet. Or did I? No, this is the hairpin, I think. So the calls seem to be a little bit earlier. I have to adapt to a bit. Right two. See, that call was so long ago because I was so slow through that section. Right five, left four. Right, right two. Four. No. Yeah, the calls, the calls are much different on the timing for sure. I'm Hairpin left. Having to, I wouldn't even say relearn because I barely learned them the first right time. Two. I'm having to readapt a bit. 
good flow to the stage so far. Certainly very believable. And I think uh, graphically much better. This uh, this particular location. Right four. Right four. Looking really good. A little, little dip into the dirt there. Into the Left five. forest, basically. Left five. Another case where I just can't tell what gear I should be in. Alright, this is rather fast. Right four. This right four. There. Left two. Right six. Left five. Okay, the call for the two right was a bit three. late. A bit late. I was already committed to the turn by the time I got the call. Not a huge deal, just a little 360. I guess that's maybe what uh, people were implying when they said there were some deceptive areas. Need more gear! Oh, that looks so fast going through the woods. Uh, and there's a the finish! Left five. Not bad, not bad. Uh, what kind of time was right it? Six. 417. I don't know what that uh, is, good or bad. But I think I'm going to live with it. Even though we didn't have that one 360 moment, I don't think we lost more than a few seconds there. I'll, I'll live with it. Okay, time for stage number two. Looks like the fog has lifted a little bit here. And maybe uh, later in the afternoon. Right, don't go through the starting line with momentum. That would be bad. And we will go in five, four, three, two. One, you. Right four. Not that it matters at all. It just feels like the right thing to do. Hey, you jump! I mentioned uh, last five. week there wasn't a lot of crests. There was one. Right four. Maybe there will be more. Right. I'll handle it okay. A little bouncy right on the. A little bouncy on the landing. A lot of trees in the course. And that downhill really Left makes five. those fours rather tricky. Right five. Left four. Trying to get away from me there. Left three. Getting a better feel for the force feedback. Right three. Left two. It just loads up a little, a little bit differently right. here than it did uh, on the asphalt. Left one, right two, left one. Let's kick in. Massive elevation right here. This really reminds me of uh, the good stages of Wales and Dirt Rally. Right two. Okay, left that's. One. Oh, we've have we pinned it in the guardrail? Not quite, but it did slow us down a lot. But yeah, the camber was very, very off right there in the middle of that. Yeah, these are definitely right much further up the brutal scale this week. Right five. Not maximum brutal, but right they're five. further up there. Right four. Left two. Okay. Just uh, letting the uh oh, woods. We're in the woods. <laughs> All right, I think uh, I think we'll take another try at this one. Okay, so yeah, definitely taking a second attempt at this one, and I'm gonna have to back uh, back down on the pace quite a bit here. This is this is a very very tricky course, a lot of extremely deceptive turns, and um, you can tumble down the mountain a really really long ways. So in a three, in a two, in a one, uh, let's go. Right four. So. Rest, which we have to take at full speed. It's a law. But for the rest of the course, we we'll try and right take four. it a little bit easier. Make sure that we uh, get a time in. Oh, I'd hate to DNF both attempts. Right turn my four. volume up a little bit. I may have just hit the microphone a bit to do it. Left three. Eight. Left five. 
actually Mike some five. cases here. Did this the first Nine time? Four. Saved it. There's actually some cases here where you can dip the tires off into the grass and it will help the car rotate a bit as it seems like the grass has right three. a little bit different Left of a grip two. profile. In right. One of the things most notably missing from the physics Left one. is the right car two. digging in at all Left when one. it's sideways. Instead of digging in, it just slides as if you are going sideways on asphalt, except very slippery asphalt. Uh, that's purely a limitation of the physics engine. Nothing to do with uh, right two, left Moose one. or the rally generator or anything like that. Or I think it's workable. I just have to get used to the feeling of it. All right, so we're in the middle third right now, four. which was, I think, the trickiest of the uh, sections. Right five. Real fast right here. Right five. Right four. Yeah. Left two. Uh, left two. Here. Yeah, that's where we went off. Let's be able to remember that one. Okay, I... Right three. Okay, I, I kind of forgot the calls there. Left four. Oh well, I thought it was gonna do a nice slide there, but right four. I guess you really gotta Left power four. it through them if you're gonna slide. Right three. Because you gotta build some forward momentum in the traction. Because like I said, it doesn't. You don't gain Left any friction three. with the sidewaysness of it. Even right in dirt, dirt 4, left there was a bit six. of that feeling of the side of the tires digging into the ground. Right five. Alright, to the final third. Somewhere up here is where I completely died on the first right run. I think it was this one exactly. Left 5. Alright, front end. Get some grip. Right four. Right. It sounded right like a really four. important right four, didn't it? That was a tricky one. That may even be where I went off. Left four. Right five. I right can't six. even recognize it right at this five. point. This is a rather intense Left section six. here. Left four. crest right there. Certainly got light. Right six. Right okay. four. Six into a right four. Oh no, there's the end. No, not bad. Not bad at all. I am I am quite pleased with that. Whew. Yeah, that last that last third is intense. <laughs> that'll uh that'll make you taste your breakfast again. Okay. Oh, and the track was at 92%. I wonder how that affects things overall. Okay, well, let's move on to the next stage. I am pleased. As I'm sitting here getting ready for the, the session to loop around, I noticed uh, some people using medium and soft tires. I'm, I'm on the mediums. I uh, see Shark on the softs. And what do you know? Gem Knight 657 on softs. What's What do you know there? Randomly, Gem Knight's game started working again. Seems like it was a .NET issue, maybe? <laughs> um, but it, excited to have Gem Knight back in a Soto Corsa here. And uh, let's see, one, two, three people went out on softs, but three of the fastest people. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, I think I'm going to stick with what I know and just keep on the setup that I was using. Oh, this is a paved stage? prepared for this. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Well, let's give it a try here. In a three, in a two, in a one. Go! Right one. To a right one. Left two. Let's get back to uh, having grip a little bit. 
back and forth. I like that dynamic of having different uh, surfaces per stage. That's a good dynamic. Back and forth. Certainly happens that way right in actual rallies and something that was always kind of right missing forward. from the Cody's rallies. You know those events where if you're on the gravel, you're on the gravel. If you're on the pavement, you're on the pavement. There's no real mix. Different right kinds three. of gravel and stuff. Right six. Left three. <laughs> Wanted to push a little wide. Right three. There as well. Left six. See, I gotta try Left not to four. pretend I'm Superman now that there's grip. Real fast. Hairpin left. <laughs> Scared me. It's like it's gonna be right here, isn't it? Because there was a hill. Right. Oh no, I still went off. Just a little trip through the weeds. Can I get out of the weeds though? Can I get out of the weeds? <laughs> right six. Left three. Okay, a five and a six and then a three, so right I gotta be prepared. Two. Oh, I wasn't prepared! That was much earlier than it looked! Right six. Redo. Okay, up for the rerun of this stage. This one's a bit of a doozy. I was able to finish the stage, but uh, yeah, I gotta work on the transitional turns. Gotta try and do a little less sliding between them as that's getting me way off course. So we'll try that again. In a three, in a two, in a one, in a go. Right one. Just wait till you see the end of the stage. Hopefully we get there. It is, once again, pretty wild. Left four. Nah, uh, stay off of those tricky, tricky turns. Can't wait to look at everybody's runs and see if they... Left if they four. were tricked by the same ones. Right four. Left four. Right four. Okay, yeah. One thing I have noticed, whether it's by chance or by implementation, the guardrails are, are lining up much more sensibly. Is that the right, right word? Three. Sensibly? Sensibly. Right six. Left three. Also, there's sixes now. Sixes were never called before. And at least for right this car, three. six pretty much means flat. Left six. Left a little four. easier. Also, tire pressures are a thing to kind of keep note of. When you get these sections of real long straightaway, Hairpin left. the tires actually get a little cool. And you can have a lot less grip than you might be uh, expecting. Hairpin right. And on the flip side of that, you get a lot of sections of repeated hairpins. Right six. They seem to load up in temp pretty easily. Might be why they're using the soft tires to keep them with some right pressure in them. Thank you, previous skid marks. Right six. All right, from here. Left four. There are some Left fast four. bits. Right two. Left oh four. nope, lost it. Same place, same exact place. But right I lost three. it after I stopped the first run. Oh, and it reset me. So that's it for the stage. Um, the 432 that I did on the first attempt will have to stick. Um, wow, that one really, like I said, is very, very deceptive. I don't know if it's the cause or just the nature of the course. Something about it is just, uh, you're not, I'm not ready for what happens there. Oh well, uh, I wish you had seen the rest of this course, <laughs> but uh, that's not hard. We, there's there's plenty of other good videos out there that uh, did show it. On to the next one. All right, final stage of the day. I went ahead and did kind of a. Uh, I did my first run, but I did it in kind of just a a preview of the stage way, so we could try it here, uh, uh, doing it live, if you will. It's another asphalt one. This one really technical. 
a lot of switchbacks. I had a lot of issues with the brake lockup, which is strange because I never really have that issue with this car. Uh, it could be the elevation. There's a lot of steep downhill braking zones, which are tricky. So I made some changes. But let's give this a try here in a five, four, three, two, one, go. Left three. Yay. Right three. I don't right know if one. this one's necessarily as deceptive as it is just very, very technical. Left two, hairpin right. I did the same thing. I did exactly the same thing. Like, to the T, to the first time I went through there. So apparently my brake changes didn't help my way too late braking. Go figure. Yeah, I think the car is just like, it's, it's coming over a little bit of a crest there. Right where my intuition told me to brake. Right four. Just kept getting me uh, in trouble. This stage is a lot of fun now. I think right it's three. as much fun as you can have in this car. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I really do not like this car. Right. It's how it is with Assetto Corsa and me. There's some cars that just, they just really feel right, and some right that just feel very bizarre. And it's usually the all-wheel drive cars, unfortunately, that to me, they just seem a little off, like. That's, yep. Mirrored those skid marks exactly. Very, very strange. I can't explain it anything else other than just driving too fast. I guess I just get a very poor sense of where this car's edge of grip is. Right five. But that is the last of the places I really had any issues on the stage, so from here, it'd be nice to try and push and make up a little bit of time. I've certainly still got to learn the whole, I don't know, driving style of this. Right four. Easy. <laughs> really close to going off there. Right two. Hopefully with a bit more time. That's faster than I want to go. Hopefully with a bit more time I can adapt to this car better. Because it feels like the right car for the job. It's the only official Kuno's uh Eh, one of the only official Kuno's Left proper rally cars. Right two. Left one. Right four. That was way too fast. Keep going, please. I don't know that this one's going to be faster. Left it may four. be that 546 will be the one that sticks. Left three. Started off real good this week. Maybe because I went into it very Left timid, because everyone said that these stages right were hell this week. Left but then, three. after right. the first two, went pretty well. Left two. <sighs> yeah, I'm not not paying enough attention to the notes. That's what's going on here. This this runs pretty much over. Well, I'll keep going though, since so you can see the rest of the stage. We. But I'm just gonna bonsai it. There's Left no three. chance it'd be any faster at this point. Right three. Right four. It is the struggle of Left the rally one. content. Trying to stay focused enough on the course. Right five. Right six. Right two. This is the part where it starts to get real fun. Right five. Right one. 
Uh, there's some skin marks from a previous run. Right four. Left three. Okay. This is the part where our left four. I really enjoyed this right whole section. Two. Hairpin left. Right. Started to flow and really it jived with me. All right, it jived. Left four. Left two. See, I'm able right to get it to slide a bit. Left two. Ambers of these turns are really helping. Right four. Right four. Left Love five. It. Right six. Right five. This is what I want. This Left is what four. I enjoy. Right three. And we're done. Off the mountain. Oh, you're really high up there. Oh, it was faster. Was it faster by point zero zero one? No. No. No, it wasn't. Okay. It was actually way faster. I didn't expect that at all. Five forty six to a five thirty. Hmm. Well, who knows what it would have been if I hadn't uh, slid off the mountain three times? I guess I just kind of spun out three times. <sighs> Ended on a bummer. Ended on a bummer, that's for sure. But uh, I gave it my best effort. Uh, I guess I'll see you in a minute when I go and examine the times. Okay, to wrap up this week, we finish 8th place. It looks like real close to Andrea's. Uh, a couple people still yet to go. Looks like Magnet is still doing his runs and running pretty close times to us. Uh, stage number, I think stage two was my best. Yeah, it looks like that was certainly the best. Uh, four would be the worst. Oh no, three was the worst. That's where I lost all the time in the world. Uh, let's see, anything else of note? Yeah, how about Gem Knight? <laughs> Finishing ahead of us after not being able to play a set of course in forever and never doing the rally thing. Ah, uh, oh well. <laughs> I'll get him next week. I think I gotta uh, really focus on doing the uh, reconnaissance runs before I, I do my stages. I skipped those this week and I regretted it. I regretted it for sure. So I'll try and do those again next week. Sounds like we're gonna be switching up the uh, combos next week. Maybe a different car, maybe some different looking stages. So uh, we'll see how it goes, but I, I enjoyed this once again. And if you want to try this out, this whole league and this whole procedural rally thing, it's going public. So if you would like to join the league and you would like to compete with us, look in the description. There is a Discord channel that you can click on and join. And that is where you will find information on how to compete with us. I look forward to uh, stacking up my times versus yours. Hopefully we can uh, uh, have you know a, a big turnout every week, just like we used to have with the Dirt Rally um, Conelanders League. That was a lot of fun, so we, we can recreate some of that magic here. Well, that'll do it for this week. Thank you, as always, for watching, and I will see you next week.
Right four. Hairpin left. 